Hey guys, AquaDuelist here, and I realized it's been quite some time since we had an update to my Chaos Max deck. And, uh, well, let's say, let's, let's see, it's been like two, three formats, things in this deck have been hit, things have, you know, kind of peeled off, you know, they weren't banned, but limited and such, so, yeah, I think it'd be a good time to, you know, just do an update to this deck. So, starting off, just jumping in, playing three copies of the only good Blue Eyes card, and that is three copies of Blue Eyes Chaos Max. This big 4K dragon just says, fuck you, I can't be targeted, I can't be destroyed by card effects, and it's the only card that does double piercing. That is pretty freaking awesome. So, with that, I'm also playing one copy of Blue Eyes Chaos Minimum Dragon. He's, eh, uh, just the one because it does set up um, Blue, uh, uh, Blue Eyes Chaos Max OTK. So, can't be targeted, can't be destroyed, just like it's Big Brother here. But this one, if you use a Blue Eyes Monster to make it, uh, when it declares an attack, all your opponent's monsters' attack and defense go to zero, and they change to they change their battle position. So, yeah, it just sets up the Chaos Max there. Just the one, that's all you need. There's no need to summon more. Like, there, there's no point. So that's why I just play the one. So, that's it for the Blue Eyes Rituals. On to the other Rituals. We are playing three copies of Incantation Chalice Slime. Play three, he literally just gets out all our other incantations. There's no reason not to play him at three. And then two copies of Necroz of Unicorn. I know it's at three. But I honestly, at the moment, just feel like two is the best route. I mean, it's... It is effectively a skill drain for the extra deck, and you know, two of these we can make a rank four, which is kind of nice sometimes uh, for certain situations, but I just think two's the way to go. So that's it for the ritual monsters for the deck. Now for the rest of the deck, monsters, we are playing two copies of Brick City Garnet Dragon. This card is absolute ass. It's fucking garbage. I will, you know, I, I wipe my ass with this shit. Like, it's that bad. Um, want to build a want to build a house? Here's some bricks. Never want to see it. You never want to draw it. Next, we're playing incantations. So we're playing three copies of incantation pencil plume. Pencil plume is the one that gets uh, was it ritual monster? Yeah, uh, ritual monsters in the graveyard. And then we're playing three copies of Bookstone, which gets us Ritual Spells in the Grave. I barely ever use those for that. Two copies of Candle, which gets us the Ritual Monster, or sorry, Ritual Spell from the deck. And then two copies of Incantation Talisman, which gets us the Ritual Monsters from the deck. So that's it for... Those guys, I do play a couple of other monsters. Of course, it is a ritual deck, so you have to play three copies of Manju, 10,000 Hands. It's just a staple. If you're not playing this in a ritual deck, you're not playing rituals right. And then for the last monster, three copies of Gale Dagra. Cards like absolutely insane. This thing can get you four cards out of your deck if you draw it, and two bodies on the field. You do pay 6,000 life points, but it honestly doesn't matter because if you get that off, you're pretty much just going to win the game right there. It's it's that good. High cost, high reward, but it's well worth it. So that's it for the ritual mons or sorry, for the monsters. Pretty heavy monster count for this deck. Going on to spells. For ritual spells, I'm playing two copies of Advanced Ritual Art. Best Ritual Spell on the deck. Gets us our Brick City Garnet Dragons out from the deck so we don't see that shit in our hands. Playing two copies of Chaos Form. Banishes a Brick City Garnet Dragon from the hand if we draw one of those bitches or from the grave to Ritual Summon our Chaos, uh, Blue Eyes Chaos um, Rituals. And then two copies of 
Necroz uh, Kaleidoscope. Best Necroz uh, Ritual Spell, so that's why we play that. And then one copy of Incantation Inception. Really, really good. Just the one. That's all you need. So that's it for the Ritual Spells. Seven of them. For the last six cards of the deck, playing three copies of Preparation of Rites. I'm sorry. Pre-Preparation of Rites. Uh, just gets us a Chalice Slime. So it's like playing essentially like playing six Chalice Slimes or a Unicorn. And then can get us a Ritual Spell from the Graveyard. Pretty freaking good. Uh, one Paw of Avarice for grind games just in case or if I honestly just want to draw two. Because why not? Uh, one foolish or one extra foolish burial of goods. I mean, it's it's okay. We do pay half our life points, so eh. And then one copy of Call by the Grave because this is at one now, which was just really dumb. Actually, I don't I don't get that. So yeah, so that's it for the for the uh, main deck itself. Going to the extra deck. Playing for Lynx, I'm playing Solomon Great Almirage, and then Nefties, the Sacred Phoenix, only Lynx that actually matter. And the only time you're really going to make Almirage is to get rid of the uh, Gale Dagra. So now for the cards that actually matter, we're playing three copies of Hail of Perfection, Ditch It to the Grave, gets us a Ritual uh, Monster Spell. Two copies of Entis. You can play it at three. I just think two is enough personally for this. Uh, two copies of Totally Awesome. It's just a target to get. Uh, we could send to get us Necros Unicorn from the graveyard. And then one copy of Ningirsu. One copy of number 107. Uh, one copy of Hope Harbinger. And then for rank fours, I'm playing Abyss Dweller. Uh, Gaga Cowboy from Going Into Time, and then Tornado Dragon, because I honestly didn't know what the else to freaking put in this deck, because the extra deck don't doesn't really matter outside of, like, six cards. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this updated uh, Chaos Max deck profile. Still playing Rituals. Um, I'm, I'm always at least playing one Ritual deck. That's just the thing. That's, like, what I do always have one and I kind of flip flop between between about a couple so thank you guys for watching hope y'all enjoyed the video give this video a like if you liked it comment any comments you got and absolutely destroy that subscribe button if you guys want to see more content there's gonna be loads more on the way so see y'all in the next video